What's going on, guys? It is your boy Juan Luis back at it again with another Black Myth Wukong video. Okay, this time we are fighting this boss. Uh, I believe his name was Shanandan. Shigandan. Shigandan. There you go. <laughs> Shigandan. So, Shigandan. He's actually. Um, he was pretty tough, but the, the, you can actually do something, which I did. Um, that you can actually, like, you have to collect these Buddha eyes in order to advance in the story. But if you get the Buddha eyes before you fight him, uh, you actually get to see him fight another boss. So, two bosses are fighting each other. One of them kills, uh, one, um... Well, Shigandan kills the other boss for you, and then you have to take care of him. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to take care of him the first time around. He was uh, tough as nails. But yeah, but had I not done that, then I will have to fight two bosses and then find the Buddha eyes afterwards. So, managed to do that. Um, he was kind of tough. I think it took me mm, three, four tries. Yeah, it, he wasn't the easiest, I will say. He's tricky, he moved weird. But I kept doing this strategy right here, which is um, kind of like a rapid attack. So what it does is it gives me more focus points. If you notice at the bottom right, when I do it, right here, look how fast that's going up. When you get focus points, then you can, um, you can hit them with a uh, heavy attack. And that heavy attack not only stuns them, but it takes away quite a lot of damage. Use my spell here. Takes more damage off of him. Hit him with that. And yeah, just dodging around. Again, once you kind of have a strategy for him, he's really not all that tough. But your first time around, you're probably going to get smoked if you go in there blindly. As you can see, it's all about dodging and then just waiting for me to, like, really hit him like that. Also, another strategy is try to stay behind him. Uh, don't try to face him head-on because um, all his attacks are head-on. So, always aim for his legs and try to stay behind him because all of his uh, attacks are head-on, which makes things tricky you kind of want to fight these bosses head on right you don't want to just constantly be behind them here i staggered them hit him with another heavy boom stuns him then yeah what are you down part about using this is that it eats up your stamina if you notice at the bottom left my stamina bar which is the yellow bar it gets drained very quickly when i uh use that move but the reward is totally worth it. Especially early on in the game. This is kind of an OP strategy. Just look at that. Almost ready for my uh, heavy. Don't know why I did that. I should have just um, held triangle. But whatever. I wanted to use the cloud step. Because I don't think I used it up until this point did that did not want to do that i wanted to use my heavy but i got to do it anyways <laughs> so we defeated him um made it look easier than it was he was a uh, kind of a tough opponent but just use this strategy guys if you're um struggling with him and you should be okay now the next boss we're fighting here um he's actually this guy his name is uh, Man in Stone, so it's like a dude that's trapped inside a stone. And he's... I wouldn't call him a main boss, he's more of a secret boss. But he... it comes in handy because afterwards he turns into a merchant. I noticed that there's a henchman here just coming for me, so I'm like, dude, what are you doing? So I decided to take care of him before I take care of this boss. Which, um... Yeah, we'll make a... Uh, the fight a lot easier, make things go a lot more smoother. So, took care of him. And then he freaks out. And now we gotta... We gotta take care of him. He actually beat me the first time. I think this is my second time fighting him. First time he actually beat me, I believe. 
I believe he did. <laughs> I don't think I beat him the first time. But pretty much, you just gotta drain his dialogue. And then just beat the crap out of him. He's honestly not hard. He's, he's really not. But you can't get careless because uh, he does do damage. He's slow, but he does do damage. Um, as you can see there, I had to heal myself. But he also uh, takes a lot of damage very quickly. So as you can see, beat him fairly quickly, fairly easy. But you just got to be careful with his moves. Now he becomes a merchant. And now he sells me stuff. So comes in handy. Just something I felt like I should have shown you guys. Because, yeah, he, he comes in handy with uh, his shop and stuff like that. And also, he's a spirit. So if you're trying to get the platinum like how I am... You kind of have to um, beat him anyways. So, as you can see, you get him. Oh, actually, he's actually a transformation. My bad. Azor Dust. So, the next fight we're um, going to have is against this guy. Now, he was a little bit tougher than the other two because he was so uh, fast um, in his second phase. First phase isn't so bad, but his second phase, he, he gets tricky, man. He does these, like, little, like, uh, clone... Well, not clones, but, like, illusion muds. It's hard to say. Think of a little substitution jutsu, like, in, um, uh, Naruto, but made out of mud it was kind of crazy and i i found this fight to be really damn cool because not only does the boss look cool as hell but also like you're legit fighting in a pool of blood i found that to be very cool <laughs> as you can see i got pluck of many which is a new uh spell which gives me clones and uh helps me um pretty much gang up on my opponent only bad thing is that it takes away a lot of your mana which is your blue bar oh as you can see he just did his little substitution jutsu and then he comes super quick and punches you look how much damage that took dude man that guy's brutal bro in his second phase took me uh, a few tries to beat him though Use my transformation, see if I could just get some sort of more damage, and um, I'm actually being very successful there. I can still use my spirit, which I think I use soon. And Tiger Vanguard, he's a, he's a tough one. Used my spirit. Honestly, didn't take away too much damage, which is crazy. I'm about to die. I don't know how that didn't land, and I just heal up. Yeah. Healing up. <laughs> and I'm being very precautious because if he uses that substitute jutsu thing and then comes with that punch, yeah, it's going to hurt. And here I see he's like chilling. So I take a few hits, do a perfect dodge, get hit there. I'm a little scared here. So again, trying to get my healing to go. And um, I noticed that he tends to do that cocky walk sometimes, and then I just whack him in the head, finish him off. Tiger Vanguard, go to hell. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video, and be safe out there, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Be safe. Enjoy the cutscene. Peace. This body of yours is perfect for the art of rock solid.